Shalom Rastafari. Greetings. How do Christians imagine the one they call Jesus or Iesus or Iusus or Yeshua or some will say Yehoshua, Yehoshua? How do they imagine the Messiah, the Christ, the Bain Ha Elohim, the Son of God? Now, what's interesting is that the picture of the painting. Right, that is on the left hand side, right, is the goat. Right, the goat. Remember how he says on the on his left is the goat, right? On his right is the sheep. Because speaking of the lamb, even of the lamb of God. Right? And they often say that um Jesus or you know, speaking the basic in, in a Western Gentile sense, they say that. Jesus, or they say Jesus. I don't like to say that Zeus, because there's no Z there. It's interesting that it's J-S-U-S, and they say Zeus. They should at least say Jesus, right? Even though there's no J there, but that Z, we can see there's a J there, and we can recognize from study there's no J there, but in the pronunciation there's a spirit. There's something hidden that we don't see, and that's that hidden Z sound. It's like in the cartoons when they put the Z, 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 that Z, that's like going to sleep. Because most folks are in sleep. They need to wake up, right? But this is how most so-called deceived Christians imagine the one they call Jesus. And this is Zeus. You are actually looking at Zeus, Caesar Borgias. You're looking at Satan. You're looking at a fallen angel. This is, this is what you're seeing right here. Right? This is the the um, image, right? That provoketh to jealousy that's spoken of in in uh, Ezekiel. Right? This this is that image of the beast. This is that antichrist, that counterfeit Christ. Right? It says that he would transform himself. Right? He's trying to transform himself. You can even tell by certain um um uh, what they what would you call it? gestures. My certain gesture. Now this, they added in this right here. When we look at this particular image right here and the hand gesture, the face, the race, this is how Christians should imagine Yeshua. Right? This is the Middle Eastern type. Right? This is the Hebrew Christ. Right? The Hebrew Christ. This right here is the Antichrist. Once again, the Hebrew Christ on the right, the righteousness. On the left, the Antichrist. So I wanted to show this from before, and this is kind of additional to uh, maybe if they do a part two or one to do a part two of uh, the exposed DVD. My name is... Uh, Cesare or Cesare Borgia. My name is Caesar Borgia. Remember when Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach, when he was crucified, you remember what they said? They said that we have no king, right? We have no king but Caesar. Isn't that interesting? The black, so-called black Hebrews or Judeans, that the Bible calls Jews, right? Erroneously, but the Judeans, the Judahites, right? That said, crucify him, crucify him, right? The majority. There was a mixed multitude there, but the majority. He came to his what? He came to his own. And his what received him not? His own received him not. So we wanted to put these two side by side right here. Um, the, the brethren, uh, Sarnetta from Sarnetta TV7. You need to check out Sarnetta TV7 on the YouTubes. And they have a social experiment where they take three images, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, and the center, they put the Antichrist or the counterfeit Yeshua, the counterfeit Yeshua, so-called Jesus, the Zeus image in the center. And they asked various people, right? Mainly black folks, but various other people too. You know, older ones, men, women, and children. And it's so shocking that when they asked children of this time, of this generation, 
the majority of them, I think most of them I've seen in the social experiment that they have done, and you need to check it out for yourself. Then you recognize how the race and the appearance of Jesus or Yeshua, Jesus, is so very, very important. Because you would think with all of the truth that has been crushed to the ground, that has risen up, all the evidence, right, all the evidence that proves both the race and the grace of Yeshua HaMoshiach, that there would not be so many people who are still deceived, right? Especially lost sheep of the house of Israel, so-called black peoples, right? In the Americas and the Caribbean and, and, and globally, worldwide. I, I really think that perhaps there are more non-so-called black peoples by percentage-wise that might recognize that, yeah, it's just logical, right, from that part of the world. And then from all of the archaeology, art, and facts that prove it. In fact, this particular image right here is a early so-called uh, Coptic or ancient Egyptian Ethiopian image of Yeshua HaMoshiach, right, of the one they call Jesus Christ. This is how Christians should imagine Yeshua and should see Yeshua, right? This is the true so-called Middle Eastern, or more correctly, since in ancient time there was no such thing as the Middle East, right? That region of the world was a so-called Afro-Shemitic or Africa, so-called Asia. It really, we should call this the Middle Eastern, right? The Ethiopian Hebrew. So over here we have the, the, the Greco-Roman, right? The Greco-Roman and Greco-Roman times, this was Zeus, right? As well as all the other, all the other so-called gods, right? Of the Goyim, of the Gentiles, right? Because they morph, you know. Remember what it says in the scripture that that Satan he 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 transfigures himself. He 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 he, he uh, transforms. The word that's used, he transforms himself right, into a so-called angel of light. I mean, even, what's that um, Satanist, Luciferian, so-called Freemason, what's his name, Albert Pikey. If you check out the other, earlier other video where Albert Pikey basically says that Adonai, Adoni, Ad Adonai, which is different than Adonis, right? This will be the so-called Greek Adonis, Right? And this is the Hebrew Adonai. Right? This is the Hebrew Lord. And this is how Christians should imagine Yeshua. And there's a, one more point I, I want to make right here. Something that Yeshua said. Right? You know, he said that if one is not able to get the earthly things, right? If he has shown to them earthly things, Right? Just the things that pertain to the earth. Let's call it the natural things. Romans uh, chapter 1 also speaks to that point right there. In other words, if you cannot see the obvious things right, on the physical, then how are you going to receive the metaphysical? Right? If you cannot receive the obvious things in the natural, then how would you receive the spiritual things? So when we're speaking about the race and the grace, it's important because of the deception of humanity, the deception of the world, but especially because of the deception and the and, and the and the and the, the the lies, right? The lies against both his race, which is the natural. Right? You see, so it should be a natural fact that we recognize his true um, race or his true seed, his true ethnicity. Right? And here's the verse right here um, from John uh, 3 and 12. John 3 and 12, he says right here, this is Yeshua HaMoshiach Adonenu, or the Lord Jesus, right, speaking. He says, if I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, you don't amen, you don't admit, how shall ye believe or believe Amen, my men, credo, give credit to, right? If I tell you of heavenly things, 
All right, so if he has told them earthly things, all right, and just in the natural, you know, th this is facts, evidence. But see, why don't they want to admit the truth? All right, why don't they come to the light? Because if you come to the light, once you recognize just how deep this deception is, everything else begins to really make sense. So, brothers and sisters, this is just a little update right here. I came across this, wanted to actually touch on the name, get into a name. You know, uh, Jesus Christ looks like who? Right? We'll call this one Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Who does he look like? And this is to be categorized under the race and the grace of Yeshua HaMoshiach, the race and the grace of Jesus Christ. More to come, my brothers and sisters. We're going to touch on the name as well. Right? What is the true name? Right? What is the true name of the Savior? If thou canst tell.